Hello and welcome to Real GPL once again. Today I am going to talk about a very important thing. You know, many of you who have joined Real GPL memberships and uh, solo plans, like like people who has bought uh, single products, sometimes you might face some issue. Like uh, you are not able to install a plugin, you are not able to update a plugin, you are not able to update or install a theme, or you are getting some error, or you need to debug your site. In those cases. you might need to take our support and we are providing that uh, using our email that you can find out in, in our contact us section that is real gpl official at the gmail.com and secondly we have support ticket system by using that you can create a support ticket in the respective you know uh, section for the respective order or for the respective product you are buying or you already have bought so now the question comes you know in some cases we might need your c panel your edge panel whatever your panel has we might need your file manager access and plus in some cases we might need your wordpress access so many of you uh, have sometimes complained about like uh, you know we don't want to share our credentials because you know privacy is a big concern and that's why i am creating this video so that if you are a real gpl customer and if you have to share your credentials but you don't want to do that in that case we are having a solution and that i am going to provide today so first of all go to plugin section and install a plugin that plugin name is login without password okay <laughs> so i am going to search login without password okay uh this plugin is very important because by using this plugin you can give access to your dashboard to somebody Uh, without sharing your you know website credentials so uh this is a plugin temporary login without password i am going to install it and it is also a flexibility like for what time you are giving access like for 1 hour 2 hour 15 minutes a day a month a week okay so let's activate it first and then we'll go through the options so you can see like we are in uh, users and then we are we are in the temporary login section right now we have to click on create new okay now it is asking for email so what we what you have to do actually not me you have to do you have to give like real gpl official okay at the rate gmail.com this email is also in the in the video description you can get it from there then in the first name you can type real and in the last name you can type uh, gpl okay and you have to give admin access to us to solve your issues and then dashboard and then expiry is important and that is either 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour we ask you to give at least for a day because you know depending on number of tickets we might uh, need some time to get your things done get your problem solved so either one day or three day would be fine so generally we solve problems in a, in a day itself so give one day access at least and then click on submit okay so email id first name last name role should be admin redirect after login you can change it to like dashboard or whatever page you have right now i'm keeping it as it is then expiry should be one day or three day and then language whatever is fine and then click on submit okay now it will give you a link okay so you can see if you click on this link a link has been copied plus you can also see the link here okay so i'm just copying it and i'm going to open the link in a incognito window so that we can see uh, if we are able to log in to our test site or not without entering the password and username okay so we are clicking on paste and then we are clicking on enter we can also do paste and go okay So you can see, like without entering the password, we are on your dashboard. So by using this method, you don't need to share your uh, admin username and passwords. Okay, but if we need C panel, you have to share that and be assured that your data is totally safe with us. You are our customer, and we have to take care of you. Okay, so don't worry about anything. If you if you want to share your password, go for it. If you want to share this way, go for it. and in case of c panel or h panel if you are using hosting or hosting then you have to uh, share your respective credentials and i personally recommend you to do so one more important question is what will happen after this 
period expires like you have given me 24 hours to fix this so if we were not able to fix your problem in 24 hours we will not be able to log into to your dashboard using the link so the link will expire in that case you have to create another request or give me another link or just by click on this edit button you can increase the time okay and once all done just deactivate this plugin you are all set so thank you very much for being here with me and watching this tutorial if you need any additional guidance or any additional tutorial about installing updating and whatever requirements you have you can always comment that in our comment section thank you very much see you again bye bye